first of all, congratulations on Faces. Uh, quite an interesting watch. I watched it last night. Um, where did this idea first come from? <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, the idea, you know, it came kind of during like the height of the pandemic, or I guess after the pandemic, as, as people were starting to see each other again. And it was interesting to me, as I was witnessing around people close to me, um, how things, something had changed in them. Um, and it, it felt like this kind of dissatisfaction with who they were. And, and the way that was manifesting was they were changing things about themselves, but it wasn't like the kind of thing that, you know, <clears throat> oh, you got a new haircut. Oh, it looks great. It was like things that they would normally never do. Mm -hmm. And to me, that was almost reading like as a cry for help or like something underneath the surface that they didn't want to talk about, but nobody was addressing it. Everyone was just like applauding it. And so I got this idea in my head that why is it that we as people, all of us have this, you know, journey toward self that we go on, but how that can kind of get undermined, like in the most unexpected times and, you know, people will just applaud and, and they won't see past the phony smile. And anyway, this idea came to me and it just, it, it was terrifying. And so anyway, faces sort of represents the embodiment of that search and the idea that the dark side of that search and the idea that this thing could come for any of us. That is fascinating. Uh, it, it, in this uh, short, it starts off seeming like it could be a very fun, lighthearted movie. And then it turns. <laughs> Uh, your your cast, you know, is fantastic in in uh, pr getting us into that type of feel. Uh, mm -hmm. how was the casting process, and you know, uh, how happy are you with the amazing cast that you got? Thank you for yeah. No, I I, I can't. I love talking about them because truly, I I've always said that I feel like any film lives or dies on your cast, but like this film especially, and um, I could not have been luckier or more grateful. To have everyone in the movie because it's such a huge like amazing ensemble but obviously especially Kaylin Rice and Ethan Daniel Corbett who play the two you know Judy and Brad and um, I, I just feel so lucky I mean they were amazing and they brought so much honesty authenticity and and vulnerability to their roles and were really willing to to do what was needed I mean without saying too much but um you know, there's those those vanity room scenes in front of the mirror and that they both do. And that was our first night of filming. Cool. Um, so it wasn't even like, oh, I got to really get to know them over the course of filming before going there. Like that was like, hey, I'm like glad to see you again because we, you know, met over Zoom or whatever. And we're getting right into it. And so. Um, so, yeah, that was such that was honestly really scary. And then they were so incredible. It was a huge confidence boost going into the rest of the film. Mm -hmm. um, the pacing of this film is, is very uh, unique as in the fact that in the beginning it has a, a slower pace and then it, it gets a little bit quicker and then you come back to that, uh, that slow pace that I think really creates that creepy atmosphere. Mm. Um, wh where did that idea come from? How, how do you create a, a a a pacing like like this because i think i haven't really seen that in many genre films oh thank you so much yeah no that's a really good question um <clears throat> you know i think i i i, I edit myself with a, a dear friend a co-editor and um <clears throat> i think kind of what we we're after i mean with any film and faces is no different it's all about time compression and you're really looking to what is the most efficient way I can get the story across? And I think you feel that uh, like in the very beginning, like outside the donut shop, like when everyone's talking, it's like pretty quick and witty and just like we're we're in it. And then once we get into the vanity room scenes, you know, it's really important that for us that you do kind of exactly what you were describing is for the experience. Like you do kind of want to uh, like subvert the audience's expectations and just go, we are about to slow down and do something you're not expecting. And then we show them something kind of weird and strange. <clears throat> then we get into the party scene and it's kind of like, we're back in it. And, you know, I want you to just be like having fun, but thinking about this weird thing you just saw on the back of your head that you can't 
forget about. And then obviously there's a lot of quick editing in the bathroom scene. And then we slow down again at the end, because for me, it's like, you can't do the emotional, um, really thematic things <clears throat> as effectively uh, if you're going really quick. You kind of want to go tell the audience, I need you to focus on this part. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean, it was definitely like by design, I suppose, but it, it just felt natural. Like it wasn't like something we overly thought about. It was just like, this is what you have to do for these types of moments. Definitely. And as you bring this uh, into uh, the film festival circuit, uh, what are, what kind of uh, response are you looking for in an audience? What what do you hope that they they respond to the most in this uh, short? Thanks. I mean, I I definitely want them to be unnerved and unsettled. Um, I want them to. There are moments I want them, obviously, to be afraid. Um, and you know, there are also moments in the movie that are have levity. Like I want them to laugh or smile at certain parts. And ultimately, at the very end, I I kind of want them to be confused. Like, I want them to have sympathy while being afraid of this, you know, final character. And I want that to be a feeling that I think, you know, that's not something I think I see a lot in, in movies. Um, and it's something I'm looking to do for the audience is, like, put them in a position that they're not used to being in and have them obviously enjoy the movie but have them be kind of unsure about how they're supposed to feel at the end of this thing that's definitely something i'm I'm hoping audiences take away there's definitely that that curiosity at the end where you want to know exactly hmm. what's going on with this character or, or what the motivation is with this character so knowing yeah. that is there any possibility to continue the story or is there a longer form to to this uh universe yeah, there is. There is. Um, it's as soon as I finished the short, this was the first short I had made where I had this feeling, which was it was so immediately clear to me that there was more story and world to be explored here. Um, <clears throat> and after finishing the short, I, I wasn't ready to be done exploring that world. So so, yes, I'm actively right now writing and developing the feature version of Faces. That is awesome. Well, congratulations on this uh, short, and I can't wait to see if what the what the full length looks. <laughs> you and me both. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm excited. It's uh, I hopefully will give audiences something pretty crazy and and unexpected, and I hope uh, the short is a nice taste of that. Definitely is. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much.